Good day, viewers. Well, I just made an amazing discovery and a great way to save the environment at the same time. This is a um, analog TV signal board. It's got the uh, menu and your OSD and your TV's firmware and everything on this board here. It's got bits of it on there. It's a little plug in chip there. It's got all the, it's got all the TV's firmware and everything like that in it. And it's got the audio, amp audio amplifier on this board, so I took this out and had a good look at it. It's a TDA um, amplifier there. Stereo, um, I think it might be a 20 watt or something like that. It, went, it came out of the TV low speakers there, so... I might as well make myself a little audio amplifier out of this. And you wouldn't believe it, so bloody easy. There's a 40 volt gate in here, so it says. So I took a 12 volt battery instead. That seemed to have worked. I got something coming out of the speaker. So I traced back from the audio IC, looked at all the things on the board, and I found the left channel in. So we've got, let's see, we've got uh, common, ground, so left channel. There's another one there, somewhere for the right channel. This is right channel out, and ground. There's another one there for the left channel out. So all I gotta do is just trace the signal back to here, cut around the board, cut, yes, hack off all the bits I don't need, just gonna cut around. Yeah, just cut off the bits I need to make the audio amplifier work. So I turn this on. It's so simple to get this to work. Well, I can get, provided I can get this to stay on the battery terminal. That's only a 0.25 watt speaker. So I'm putting 20 watts to a 0.25 watt speaker there. It is working. How easy is that? You gotta love analog electronics. All I gotta do is just um, cut with the side cutters all around here and just make some taps off that chip and fair the audio signal properly through all these other components because that all does um, filtering and everything to clean up the signal. It's a bit warm. There you go. That cooled down quite quick. It's, it's that easy to recycle with audio amplifier from a bloody TV. Simple. Okay viewers, take a short, oops, taking a shortcut instead of using this big pain in the ass of a connector. Trace my um, source input voltage to these two. So behind a heat there's a jump going to ground on the um, IC. There's one called B plus which went to the positive on this one. That's wired up accordingly. So they're my main input wires from the power supply. Now I'm gonna um looking at this uh, thing I used here, trace back where it says well we're gonna start with the input say left in. So this pin here I trace it back and find where that goes. There's a jumper there. I must go through some resistors and go through some components here to clean the signal up a bit. So I could tap it straight off the bloody pins. So you've got left out and right out. And you've got mute, which doesn't get used. Left in. There's right in here, which is I think pin 11. But I'll do it properly. I'll trace this back here. So from here onwards I'll cut I reckon. If I go here, I'll just cut there, there. There's only jumpers there. Go up here and cut that off. That should limit and necessity. It's just to run an amplifier. Okay viewers, since I don't have a Dremel, I'm gonna use that to cut it. Cut there, around those components. There's a jumper there, that resistor doesn't go anywhere, so that's not needed. So I'll cut that off. That component's not going anywhere I really need it to. This board's not getting used. Through there, up around there and there. Alright, let's start the cutting. Okay, have you all sort of found out how to get a good proper input signal? I've got it working. Got the left and right channels plugged in the right places. Got the power got in the right spot. Just got to find where to put the audio signal in now, because I'm, I'm messed up here. There's inputs. I'm off the um, positive and negative the wrong way around. I know that one goes to ground for sure, so it'll be the right channel. 
If I swap these around, we'll see how it was up we get. So we'll see if the sound improves. Doesn't sound too good. I've got the left and right going positive in both channels there, so. Sort of works, just got to find out how to um, get the right signal. Right in. Okay. It's going through too many components there. Um, left in. Which goes here. I've got to go through some components and clean that signal up. But it works. Just getting a bad signal now. So next thing I go do is just um, find out how to the right input now. So we've got right in there, left in pin seven. Just got to go through some components first. Got to find out um, how to clear that signal up, and that should work normally. Okay, viewers, I had the wrong voltage. So I get the multimeter and I find out exactly what voltage this needs. So yeah, this amplifier needs a certain voltage to run happy, otherwise you'll complain and sound like garbage. Pretty cool, it's not under stress, that's good. Alright, let's plug into the, I've got the yellow one in, so I think that's a 5, uh, I think that's a, the, the 12 volt, I'm pretty sure. Just to check, I'll plug this in and test it. Cut it in there. I must have had up to 5 volt though and didn't have enough um, voltage and it was struggling to amplify and didn't get enough power. Yep, that's a 12 volt though. I had the red one plugged in before and that was 5 volts and I had it turn it up and it was struggling to get more power and crackling and distorting so. That's quite good! Both channels are coming through, left and right, that's good. So I got left, I think. Which one's left? Left is this one. But I can't short those together. So I've got to solder that wire here. That's the right channel. I have to solder that there instead for that to work. So let's try that and that'll be done. Okay, we always have the right channel input soldered in the correct spot. So it's not going through a certain component. In this case, it was going through this capacitor, I think, and posing as a dead short, and that channel wasn't working. So I bypass that, I put it there, let's turn it on. Amplifiers on. Radio on. That's working just as, as it would have when it was on that board in a reprojection TV. There we go. Repurpose the amplifier. How good is that, eh? Seven up and go on a landfill. It's a TDA7265. Underneath that's got 6884R0241 and made in Singapore by a company called ST. And what about another one here? But this TV didn't have that model, so I might have been for an extra set of four speakers or something like that. Not even warm. 
How good is that? So left in, right in, both are sharing the same ground. Left out, right and right out. Easy as that. The power goes in here in the ground. I think that one there is a positive. Down with a B plus on the um, integrated circuit. They just look a lot more dangerous. Now I've got no bloody equalizer, so it's got to sound like garbage, obviously, but still pretty good. That's turned right down. It's on zero, and it's still picking up audio signal. That's a good amplifier, running on 12 volts from the power supply. Learn something new every day. Well, viewers, thanks for watching.